welcome to the channel. Today we have another Mortal Kombat 11 McFarlane Toys figure review of the purple version of Sub-Zero. Uh, this figure is uh, pretty cool. I, just, I really want a Sub-Zero in my collection because you have to have like Sub-Zero and, and Scorpion. Scorpion is personally my favorite Mortal Kombat character, uh, but I needed a Scorpion and for some reason the blue one's really hard to get. So I settled for the purple because the purple doesn't look too far off from the blue. And I look forward to getting a closer look at Mr. Sub-Zero. Now that we have Mr. Sub-Zero out of the packaging, Sub-Zero looks awesome. Let's check out his accessory. He comes with a skull. Now again, this is the purple version of Sub-Zero. He comes with like these purplish icicle axes, which he looks really cool. Now, I'm not paying the money they want you to pay for a uh, normal blue Sub-Zero. Again, I'm assuming this is a DLC skin. You know, get your money's worth from these molds. It's all good. Everybody does the whole repaint system. I know there's quite a few different versions of Sub-Zero you can get. I personally went with this one because it was on sale. Um, and I want a Sub-Zero in my collection. So, uh, sue me. Just kidding. Um, no, so I want a Sub-Zero in my collection. Um, Sub-Zero, I feel like... In a Mortal Kombat collection, you know, without Scorpion and Sub-Zero, is it even a Mortal Kombat collection? <laughs> so, yeah, so this one's fine. I went with the purple because, again, yeah, it was on clearance, but also, too, it's, in some lights, it looks like it's blue. So, you know what I mean? So, to me, it's not that big of a deal that it's purple and it's not blue. Um, you could tell it's Sub-Zero. Now, this isn't the Sub-Zero that I'm super familiar feel, familiar with, you know, this armor, this armor. Sorry guys, it's been a long day. I cannot talk and I'm like filming multiple videos in a row so I just keep ju jumping up on my words, but it's okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not super familiar with this armor, but you know, it's Sub-Zero nonetheless and he looks really awesome. I like his, I like the armor you see on his uh, bicep. You know, it looks really good in the back. Got a little smudging on the back, it's all good. I wish these were removable, the knives. That would've been really cool because he has more knives down here. You know, it looks like some more knives in the front. Basically, Sub-Zero is always ready and willing to throw down. Um, yeah, I think Sub-Zero is, is one of the most iconic characters of the Mortal Kombat universe, to be honest with you. I mean, him and Scorpion, I mean, those two rivalry has gone on for years and years. Um, so to not have either one in the collection would be, in my opinion, a travesty. So when I got uh, Noob Saibai, I immediately was like, oh, well, I need to get... I need to get Sub-Zero and I need to get Scorpion. So yes, we do have Scorpion. He will be coming in a later review. Uh, but I got, like I said, I bought six Mortal Kombat figures. We just reviewed a Noob. Uh, we are currently doing Sub-Zero. Um, and then we have quite a, we have a few more after that. Uh, so you guys have that to look forward to. And honestly, I'm going to care. I'm going to carry on with this, with license, with this license. I already pre-ordered uh, Kotal Kong and the Joker uh, for the Mortal Kombat line. So I am, I am, going full steam ahead with this mk11 line i think it's really good i think if i had to pick which line i like more between dc multiverse and mortal kombat probably would be the mortal kombat line just because like i said i'm not a diehard dc fan i just really love the suicide squad and i really loved Zack snyder's justice league so i had to go and get those figures but i i've been a mortal kombat fan since i was a kid i mean i've been scorpion for halloween and i've been uh sub-zero for halloween so I've been both of them, I love them, and um, you know, uh, I, I'm I, I'm just happy to finally start collecting the Mortal Kombat figures. It was almost like I was waiting for the right company to do it in the scale I like. And uh, Mortal Kombat, and uh, uh, Mick Farland is, is hitting the nail on the head. Uh, so let's bring in Mr. Noob Saibot, just so you can see how they look. And I think they look awesome. I mean, like these guys, again, are these the costumes I'm super familiar with? No, because I have not played MK11, but also I am, always familiar with the fact that each game their costumes change but honestly i love the way these co these costumes look they look amazing especially noob noob looks menacing as hell so i really like this figure both figures so far have have really done it for me i love them both i hope you guys really like this review series i'm doing of the mortal kombat uh, figures uh, again i got I i'll tell you who i got i got shao Kahn coming up i got scorpion i got spawn who is awesome and then i got um there's one more I got. I just can't think for the life of me who it is now. Oh, Cabal. There we go. So I got those guys coming up in the in the um, in the near future. So please keep an eye on my channel for more Mortal Kombat figure reviews, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.